Taiwanese pineapple cake is a favorite bakery delicacy all year round, particularly during Spring Festival. In this video, I want to share with you how to make this Chinese pastry. You will not find in most of the non-Asian bakery. So if you like crumbly pastry, if you like pineapple, keep watching. You can get the recipe in the description right below the video and more information by following the link to the blog post. To begin with, cut the pineapple. Slice off the crown and the bottom. Trim off the thick fibrous skin. Use a small knife to make a V-shaped shallow diagonal cut at both sides of the eyes. Cut out the eyes with a knife at where the diagonal cut meets below the eyes. Cut into small chunks. To blend until there's no visible pieces. Transfer the pineapple paste to a non-stick pan. To make the filling, I suggest using a non-stick pan for cooking the pineapple paste as it will become sticky after it becomes concentrated. Cook the pineapple paste over high heat initially. When the pineapple paste starts to get dry, reduce to low heat and continue to simmer. Now we add the sugar, lemon juice, maltose. Heat the maltose in the microwave until it becomes less sticky so that it is easier to pour into the pan. The filling is ready after it cooks down to a thick jam. When we wait for the pineapple fillings to cool down, make the pastry. Cut the unsalted butter in the mixing bowl and let it return to room temperature before use. Cream the butter and sugar until it becomes light and fluffy, which resembles soft ice cream. Next, Add the egg yolk and continue mixing until homogeneous. Sieve the flour, cornstarch, milk powder and salt. And add to the buttercream mixture. Mix until all the ingredients are combined. Do not over mix to avoid the formation of gluten, which will make the pastry become less flaky. Wrap the soft pastry with cling film. Keep it in the refrigerator until it's hardened. The pastry is now ready to use. If you plan only making the pineapple cakes occasionally, you can opt not to buy the mold, but make your own with cardboard and aluminum foil. Here are the steps. Get a piece of cardboard, cut to about 2 cm wide and 18 cm long. Make the folds at each 4 cm intervals. Then wrap it up with aluminum foil. Connect both ends with a cellophane tape or stapler. Now wrap the filling with the pastry. 
Roll out the pastry. Remove the pastry from the table with a dough cutter. Place the filling on top of the pastry. Fold the pastry to encase the filling inside. There isn't any unique techniques. As long as you can cover the fillings with the pastry, preferably of equal thickness of any parts. Place a pineapple dough in the mold and then lightly press the top so that the pastry takes the shape of the mold. Finally, baking. Bake it at 175 degrees for 10 minutes at the middle rack. After 10 minutes, turn it over and continue baking. Place the pineapple cakes into the oven again and bake for another 5 to 10 minutes or until golden brown. When it's done, let it cool and serve. This is how I make the Taiwanese pineapple cake. I hope you enjoy watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscription button. Until then, I will see you again in the next video. My name is Katie Kwan. Bye for now.